Students across San Diego are fighting back over their school's dress code policies. A demonstration was held earlier this week at Grossmont High School, and just last month, walkouts took place at both Sweetwater and San Isidro High Schools. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on the protests and why students say the dress codes aren't fair. The demonstration at Grossmont High School on Monday got so out of hand, police responded. Some students feel as though the dress code here and at other campuses isn't about safety. It's about shaming students. On Monday, several students gathered outside Grossmont High School in El Cajon to protest the dress code. Four were detained and later released after district officials say they started throwing things. If they're going to have like a dress code that strict, then they might as well just give everyone uniforms at that point. Junior Anthony Pustizzi wasn't at the demonstration, will, but understands students' say frustration, say. saying not only is the dress code outdated, it's unfair. And it's also sexist because there's a lot more against the girls than there are for the guys. Here's some of what the dress code entails. No oversized or form-fitting clothing, no sleeveless tops or ones that show your stomach, slippers, pajamas, spike jewelry, and wallet chains are also not allowed. There's certain ones that are unfair because people should be dressed how they want to comfortably, as long as it's in a reasonable way of dressing. A petition on change.org has collected nearly 2,500 signatures. Grossmont senior Mary De Silva started it, writing in part, controlling how students dress, specifically female students, enforces shame in our bodies, not safety. Over at Sweetwater High School, students have the same concerns. My body should not be as much of a distraction as my education. I should this is video captured at a demonstration held there last month. Students at San Isidro High School held a walkout as well. In a statement, a Sweetwater Union High School spokesperson said in part, while we do not condone students leaving classrooms and missing instructional time, we do recognize students' right to protest perceived inequities. For the past three years, district and site leaders have been convening forums with students, staff, and community members that identify campuses to dialogue about these specific concerns regarding dress codes. We will continue to hold these forums. Meanwhile, back at Grossmont High School, spokesperson Colin McGlashlin had a similar response, saying district leaders welcome free speech and are open to possibly changing the dress code in the future. And we understand where our students are coming from. We welcome that future conversation about the dress code.